What is up, everybody? It's your boy Versi here today, and we're gonna talk about this PS5 Pro, a uh, retro style and a 30th anniversary edition that they uh, that Sony is announcing. I think this is the biggest gimmick <laughs> that Sony is doing, trying to change that negative PR they were getting. Because just last week ago, when this thing, when the PS5 Pro was first announced, it was so much negative backlash saying this thing was overpriced. But now we're seeing some people say, like, this is the most amazing thing ever. I'm like, really? They literally just changed the color from white to gray to, I guess, trigger some nostalgia goggles for some people. I grew up with the original PlayStation 1. I played the PlayStation 1 very heavily as a kid. This doesn't do anything for me. Like it's still the same PS5 Pro that's overpriced with no disk drive, with very little PlayStation first party IPs. It's like you're just buying more hardware. Where is the software at? Why do they just keep releasing more and more controllers, consoles? It's like you know the stuff that people made mockery of Xbox over them constantly releasing controllers over over video games. PlayStation's doing the same thing. They keep releasing more hardware. I know more about their hardware they're releasing than the actual first-party games. This is crazy. So people going crazy about this uh, this 30th anniversary edition. This is what you get. You get um, the special DualSense controller, which is great. The DualSense Edge controller they're doing, which has also got that themed as well. A charging station. The USB cable is shaped like a PlayStation One. As opposed to like a PlayStation 1 controller, gimmicky knobs. See, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer about this subject, but I just don't see how people are going crazy about this. Like, people are like, this is the most greatest thing ever. I'm like, really? This is the greatest thing ever? They're giving you more hardware, but not but less, not, not in the first party games? Really? That's what, that's what you go crazy about? It would have been a great announcement to say, hey, you can play, we're going we're gonna to drastically increase the PlayStation 1 catalog on PS5. That would have been news to go crazy over, but they're just, they're just releasing another PS5 in the, in the same style as a PlayStation 1. I don't care less. And they got the box, the, the, and apparently the box looks like the original PlayStation 1 box. And that's, that's, that's what people are going crazy about. I just don't get it. Maybe I'm out of touch. <laughs> Maybe I'm the one that's out of touch. Because I don't understand what gets people... I don't understand. It's just like, I think Sony has an easy job. Once again, put a PlayStation logo on anything and people will buy it. I think that's just the thing right here. Because why even try? Why even Why even try to innovate? You just put a PlayStation logo on a box and people will buy it. They'll go crazy about it. People were just trash talking this trash talking PS5 Pro. Now they want to buy the PS5 Pro because it's, it looks like the original PlayStation. Really? That's all it takes? Uh, but yeah, let's see what we got to say about this. Cover for disk drive, not included disk drive. <laughs> they literally give you a cover for the disk drive, but guess what? The system is not going to come to it's not going to come to disk drive. How much sense does that make? Here's a console that looks like the system you fell in love with as a kid, but don't worry, it won't play any of those games you love so much, and have nearly the amount of first-party games as a PlayStation One did. I thought we, I thought we played video games to actually play video games, not just collect hardware. Yeah, I just don't get it. They did it again, no disk drive. All properly, just get the controller. I'm not even getting that. This. This whole gimmicky nonsense don't work on me. And didn't they just do this last year with the PS4? Wasn't it like the 25th anniversary and they had the original, they had the PS4 look like the original PlayStation as well? Uh, I guess they just want to reuse gimmicks again. Now those how they're talking about additions and not games. Yeah. Where are the games at? <laughs> like, bring the games out. Like, I don't care about more and more hardware. The PS5 is enough for this generation it's like we don't need more and more hardware or controllers or whatever and there's not they didn't even announce a price for this thing so it could be like 900 a thousand bucks people were excited about this thing and apparently it's limited to like twelve thousand people or something crazy like that so only twelve thousand people can get this system anyway so it's mostly gonna go to scalpers and then scalpers are gonna resell it to sony zealots or Diehard fanboys at this point, like it's just getting, it's just getting ridiculous. I'm super, t I'm really tired about hearing about the PS5 Pro. It's like if they're not talking about no new games, I don't want to hear about a new console. It's like, 
bro, what are you what are you bringing up to justify the console? People, the sixty million people bought already. Like, where are the games at? Um, people saying the bundle gonna be like a thousand bucks. Uh, who knows? It's like it's gonna be overpriced. Uh, that's just I'm like. I'm like, am I out of touch? Because people are like, this is the most amazing thing ever. And I was like, no, they just use the gimmick. They just use the gimmick of just using PlayStation One as a as a thing to get people to talk about it or buy it. I'm just not seeing it right now. Yeah, scalpers are gonna have a field day with this. It's like scalpers are probably gonna make the most money off this situation right here. They're probably gonna make more money than Sony off this situation. Um. Yeah, look at the Sony fanboys love it. They just love it. <laughs> it's like they want to buy the special edition PS5 Pro. They want to buy the regular PS5 Pro. I was like, just put a Sony logo on it and they will buy it. No rhyme or reason. Just have a PlayStation logo on it. And apparently you can just buy a skin for 45 bucks if you really wanted that. I don't even want that. It's like, when when did getting custom consoles become more important than just video games in general? This is one weird generation. <clears throat> and then the fact that this thing costs so much, like the regular PS5 Pro costs 700 bucks, when the PS4 Pro costs 400 bucks, like stuff is supposed to go down in price, not go up. But then you got, once again, you got the zealots want to actually support this nonsense where the consoles are going up in price, not down. <sighs> I just got no faith in the next generation, to be honest. <laughs> I think that PS6 is going to be like at least $700 for next generation. Because the way these people are moving, like the way the gaming community is moving, at, the way some people want this thing right here. So I got a feeling that the next place is going to be like 700 bucks Because way too many people are excited about this thing right here. I was like, they just did one gimmick, one gimmick, made it gray instead of white, and then people are going crazy about it, like, really? <clears throat> this guy says, I effing need it. I just need this PlayStation. It's the same as the other one, but, you know, it's gray. <laughs> it's literally gray. That's all they need, and he just effing needs it. Okay. This does absolutely, like, once again, I grew up with the original PlayStation. This does nothing for me at all. Doesn't do anything for me. Scalper under the move. Good luck. Yeah, good luck trying to even get this thing. If you are one of these people who diehards want this, good luck. Because I'm pretty sure the, the scalpers are going to get this. Well, scoop this up, like, as, as soon as it's available. So, Sony knows exactly how to milk their fans. They they are masters at milking their fans. <laughs> I think it's literally just simply just putting a PlayStation logo on anything. Literally just selling you the same thing, but putting the um instead of making it white, make it gray. It's just that simple. <clears throat> I totally remember the PS1 being totally digital with no disk drive, right? <laughs> I was supposed to, I was supposed to be nostalgic to the PS1, but it has no disk drive. Yeah, I, there's no PlayStation One with no disk drive, but they want to sell you that. Yeah, Sony could be doing so much better. Like their backs compatibility could be a lot better. But no, just give you more hardware. Just just throw more consoles. You buy the consoles. Don't worry about playing more games. Just throw more consoles at it. But I'm gonna include it right here. I'm talking about. I'm tar I'm tired of talking about the PS5 Pro. I think it's a waste of hardware. Like all these other different hardware they released, that's just been a waste. Like. The, the the portal I have ha uh, I have done handheld. It's just like I'm t I'm just I'm so done with Sony and their hardware. It's like we came for the games. Where are the first party games? Uh, that's all I care about. But definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this. Leave a like like this video. And as always, thanks for watching and peace.